Filter Podcast, January uh, Tuesday. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> Dude, I'm exhausted. I, I've had, uh, last night I had um, a total of two hours of sleep, maybe three. Just couldn't sleep, had a ma- massive allergy checks, attack last night. So you hear me snorting and sniffing and stuff in the next like 10 minutes. I'm having cocaine and shit. I apologize in advance. Uh, had a massive allergy attack yesterday. Cause I was, my wife and I were deep cleaning our house yesterday, and we got we got a new couch in and all that stuff, and we had to get rid of some stuff and a little bit of dust that we ran into. I, I and I had like the worst allergies ever. Like I really like anything that hits my nose, I'm immediately like fucked, really fucked. So, but anyway, oh uh, man. Not a lot to talk about today, really. Um, other than a shit national title game, really. That's it. I watched maybe 10 minutes of it. I started the game late. I thought the game was 8 o'clock. It's 7.30. I turned on the game. It's already 24-7. Like, what am I watching here? And then before you know it, it's 38-7. I'm like, well, you know, thank God there's NBA games for once. Uh, and I could watch them. Because I, I, in years past, I, never, I, I remember like when they had a national title game, there would be no NBA game scheduled. So I can imagine last night I didn't have anything scheduled to watch. I I've been screwed, <laughs> but luckily, you know, there was a couple games last night while I was in the NBA. So I uh, ended up uh, ended up uh, put on the NBA league pass at some point and just follow the game, the college game on the uh, on the app. Um, shit, fucking Georgia even covered the covered the over on its own. Good stuff, man. Back to back champions, Georgia Bulldogs, well deserved. Corey Smart, right now, best coach in college football. I guess. I mean, that's the, that's the that's the narrative now, right? Is that we're talking about like, okay, well, it's uh, it's him or or Nick Saban, and look, Nick Saban is still the man. Let's just, let's be clear. We're not going to change. We're not going to all of a sudden say because Nick Saban has not won a title in a couple of years and Curtis Brown on two in a row that Nick Saban sucks. Let's stop that shit. That's that's not even go there. Or that Nick Saban is still the man. He's still a man. Um, but Curry, this is this is Curry Smart's uh, time, and Georgia's is really good. And I think last night Georgia put a gap between themselves and everybody else in college football. Like Bama's still in the mix. Let's just be clear. I'm not saying Bama can't beat them and won't beat them in, in you know next year or the year after. But when you win, when you're the first back to back champion in over a decade, the last team to do was Alabama, and you do that, and you do play also play in the SEC too. On top of that, yeah, you have to get the you know get, get some love there, of course. And of course, now everybody on social media this morning, you know, doing the Monday morning or well, Tuesday morning quarterback. Now, oh, the playoffs a bad idea now because you know TCU didn't belong, and all of a sudden you're gonna have more bad games now because it's a tall team playoff in two years. And I mean, I get their point, but no, I, I still want twelve teams because you're the same people who were bitching a month ago that this team should have gotten in, this team should not have gotten in. Stop! You can't have both ways. You can't have both ways. I mean, we go back to the era of like when we didn't have a championship game. Or playoff, for that matter. We just had like the coaches poll and the AP poll decide the titles, which is bullshit. I hate I hated that back in the day. We go back to that, of course, or BCS. You know, which I know a lot of people, all, like, you know, don't like to be didn't like the BCS. I thought the BCS was probably the only. I thought the BCS was actually the 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 fairest way to do it, only because of the fact that the computer does not know who Nick Saban is. It just computes the data. That's it. You know, and that's why I love the BCS either, but, you know, college fans don't know what they want. One minute it's, it's they want this, one minute, one minute it's they want, they want the uh, playoff, and then when they see the uh, result like this, which is kind of an anomaly, they bitch about it. Oh, you know, do you forget that Notre Dame, who's a Power 5 team, got blown out by fucking Alabama in 2013, or Oregon blasted by four Seminoles in 2014? I mean, I mean, seriously. Like, stop. It's not. It's not. It's not, it's not, it's not exclusive to the team, team like TCU. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My words. I'm fucking tired, dude. I'm so tired. Got no sleep today. My my youngest son also woke up in the morning and did not want to go to school. He had a, a massive like freak out. So my oldest son went to school. So you know, I was supposed to do a podcast with Kyle Nash today, and we're gonna postpone that to to uh, Wednesday. Here he is. Look at him. In the meantime, here's my son here. 
Logan, are you awake still? What are you doing? Want to say hi to everybody in the podcast? Say hi. Hi, you poopy head. Oh, my God. You should be in school right now. You know that, right? You should be in school. Well, it's too late now. You've been, you, well, it's too late now. You, you were supposed to go to school five hours ago, but because of your freak out today, you're a the freak out, freak out. You, know, you, will, you won't be going to school today. It's okay. It's fine. Anyway, but, uh, you know, college football is now officially over. And um, NFL playoffs start this weekend. And I, I got power rankings for you. Yes. You, think, you thought power rankings ended during the season? You, you're damn, you're, 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 you're wrong. I got power rankings for you guys. I'm gonna, it's gonna, I'm gonna rank the 14 teams, the 14 teams in the uh, not currently in the uh, playoffs right now, including the uh, the two buys. Uh, if I can bring up here my my um, my phone real quick, give me a second. Let me see here. Uh, here it is. No, that's not it. That's not it. There it is, right there. So here are my 14 teams power rankings, and I, you know, honestly, I don't know. If I feel good about these these rankings either because like some of these teams here. You know, it's all dependent on certain players playing this weekend. It's like, so like 14 had the Seahawks. I feel like to be a little higher, I guess, but whatever. 13, the Bucks, I guess. 12, the Dolphins. And that's if Tua plays. If Tua plays, they're probably higher by my rankings, right? 11, my Giants. Right, right where it should be. 10, the Vikings. Oh, the Vikings. You know, the Vikings, you know, the Minnesota Vikings, you know, you, you, uh, you you know they they thirteen and four aren't the higher. They have like a like a five point win, win differential, if that. I gotta find out quick. Let me see that number real quick. On the Vikings, the point differential is what, like plus five or something like that for a thirteen one team. That's pretty pathetic. Something something of that nature. I gotta find it real quick. Meantime, nine was uh the Jaguars, eight Ravens. And again, if Lamar plays this weekend, which well, all signs point to him playing, um, they might be higher. Seven Cowboys moving down one spot because they they play like shit against Washington. How do you lose to Washington? Start? How do you lose to the Commanders with with them playing their third string quarterback? Nothing to play for, and you guys are play, uh, at the time were play, playing for a, a higher seed. If the Eagles had lost that game, you didn't know that time though. Um, how do you guys do that? Pathetic. Six Chargers moved up a little bit, even though they won. They lost against Denver. Five Eagles. Eagles have been struggling out the gate. Not, not out the gate, out, out the December gate, rather. They've been, they've been, I don't know. And Jalen Hurst didn't play well on, on Sunday. He's still hurt. I'm worried for the Eagles. Four Bills. Three Chiefs. Two Bengals. One. I did it, guys. The Niners, number one. I think they're the best team, not just the NFC, I think they're the best team in the league right now. I don't, I don't care if Brock Purdy's a quarterback. Brock Purdy's doing his job. Like, I look at Brock Purdy, like, on the field, and it's like he knows what he's doing. Like, I'm not worried about Brock Purdy. I'm not, like, you have a backup or a third string in there, and, like, you're, like, sweating each play. Not in the case of Brock Purdy. He's, like, he knows what he's doing. He's, like, he's, like, he's literally doing what he's doing. Like, like, I don't worry about Brock Purdy whatsoever. So... There's rankings this week. Um, I'm going to keep it short today because uh, my, like I say my allergies are kicking my ass. Um, Kevin Durant out a month, two, two to four weeks. Um, I, I said I think this is an opportunity for Kyrie Irving to, to change the narrative. If, 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 if he can play well, keep the ship going for the Nets in the next couple of weeks, you know, that can go a long way you know, for Brooklyn and for him and you know, I, I don't think the Nets want him back next year, beyond this year. I think they've been burned so much by this guy in the three years he's been there in Brooklyn that unless they win an NBA championship this year, you know, I don't think there's any way he comes back to the, to the team. But if he can right the ship, this, this goes a long way to him, you know, maybe being there being there long term. Because remember, Kevin Durant is still there on a contract for another four years. So, like, you know, I'm, I'm sure to some degree he would like to stay there long term, but... Again, we'll see. But like I said, these, these next two or four weeks are going to be interesting because ever since Jacques Vaughn's taken over the team, this team has been playing very well. They've, they've, they've maintained. They, they, they've, they've, they've not maintained. They've actually not just maintained. They, they right now have the second best record in basketball. You know, and uh, they've, he's my coach of the year right now. And to me, it's, 
it's very simple. If if Kyrie Irving can step in and be the leader he claims to be, I mean, remember he's a leader. This is his team. Well, here's your opportunity. Hold the fort down. We'll see. So anyway, um, I'm keeping it short and sweet because uh, I got my allergies that kick my ass. I didn't get lunch. I'm hungry. Um, so again, this is uh, unfiltered, uh, dated uh, January tenth, twenty twenty three. This year is really going fast. My God. Um, I got no sleep last night. I'm going to try to get a nap in now if I could. Uh, if I, anything else on the, on the docket here I, I left off here? Nope, that's it. My, like I said, rankings. Uh, power rankings. Georgia dominating back-to-back titles again. And then Kyrie. That's good. Um, so I guess we're good for there. We'll uh, we'll come back and uh, we'll talk talk later, I guess, right? I don't know. Talk soon. Later.